we are in Sevierville, Tennessee this summer and stumbled to some place that we haven't been ever. People talk about it all the time. It's been here forever, uh, although it's in a different location now. We're at Frank Allen's Grill. This is where uh, Doll used to come eat at all the time. And they say she still does, but they still send somebody in to pick it up. We've never been here. They win Best Burger year after year after year after year. And you walk in, look at the price. A double cheeseburger with bacon was like five bucks, five, six bucks. Um, hot dogs are two for four, two for five, depending on which kind of you get. Prices are amazing. We got a food order, I got the food in yet, but we're excited to try it. We, I guarantee this is going to be good. No! God, please, no! 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 Nothing but locals fill this place. Locals, locals, locals. Not the first source besides us. I guess we're technically local now, too, so. We're not tourists, are we? Nah. No. Okay. No. We're not. But we're waiting on our food. And when we get our food, we'll come back at you. Frank Allen's is inside the Kenjo, which is up the parkway from Walmart on the other side of the road. Like Josh said, Dolly comes here and what she orders is the slaw dog all the way. So that's what we ordered. When it comes out, we're gonna try it. This is my burger. Perfectly round patties. Um, I'm not convinced that these aren't frozen. I'm about to get a lot of hate for that. I'm about to get attacked for that. I'm not convinced that they're not frozen. Um, Prots for the burger, excellent price. It's a huge burger, as you see. And mine's got everything on it, bacon and everything. I mean, it slowed it down. But, in my heart of hearts, I sure feel like this is a frozen patty. We just finished up at Frank Allen's and I feel like I'm about to make some enemies. I feel like I'm very close to this camera. <laughs> um, there's no way that that's the best burger in town and mm. it won for the past 19, 20, whatever years. There's no way. It is a standard hometown chili dog restaurant. Nothing fancy about it. Hot dogs are not all beef. Um, mm -mm. They're cheap hot dogs. They got a couple of creative spins on some hot dogs there. But I think that's why people like it so much because it reminds them of being home because there's literally yeah. one of these in every single town. Yeah, that's true. Um, the meat, I got the double cheeseburger. Not fresh, took a bite of it, I told you then. I was like, even looking at it, I was like, okay, something's wrong with this. The meat comes in fresh. But for the doubles, they pre-make the patties and they freeze them. On the singles, 
they pre-press the patties and they put them in the refrigerator and use them like that because you use them much more of those. When you use a burger press, you're pressing that burger together so much that you get all the fat stays inside. It doesn't come out and cook in it. So you get no flavor on your burger when you cook it. And when you bite into it, now the, the mine was not that way because it was so thin, but the normal one, I guarantee you would have been, you get an over amount of of grease that comes out of it because it's not cooked in it it's cooked inside of it because it's pressed too tight you can't press a burger too tight this is not even in my top 20 burger in Sevier County not even close hot dogs are average and what's the cheap hot dog you buy at Walmart like Bar S you got 36 of them for a dollar or something yeah. that's what this is crappy hot dog but you put stuff on it it becomes good yeah uh, we ordered I'm telling you, I'm about to make, make a lot of people mad. I mean, this is... But it, I'm not saying it was bad food. It wasn't bad food. For the price? For the price, it was it was good. Yeah, it was 20 bucks for all everything we got. Yeah. And we got a lot of food. Yeah, we got a lot of food. We got the double cheeseburger, double bacon cheeseburger. Um, two the, fries. Two fries. Two orders of fries, which there's not like a size of fries. It's just yeah. an order of fries. Um, we got a nacho hot dog which was it was good it was good and um the slaw dog which we we did ask what dolly gets and how she gets it and that's what we ordered and the slaw dog was good and it was just the slaw dog all the way yeah slaw dog all the way it was good the slaw is you know the pre-made pre-packaged pre -packaged buffalo chopped yeah cabbage. what you get from like a yeah. food supply delivery place Most definitely um so was the chili and just a regular plain hot dog which arrow that's what arrow ordered and she ate about half of it and she said the hot dog tasted weird because she we, she's used to all beef we get all beef yeah. hot dogs and she will not eat well, a mixture of a hot dog i can't eat those regular hot dogs it's got a lot of nitrates in it and a lot of sodium a lot more mm -hmm. sodium than yeah. all beef hot dogs and the flavor is so much better than all beef anyway so i don't know yeah. why you get that even to save a couple of bucks i mean you know, you I mean, go, if you're going to put a lot of crap on top of it. But you go to Sam's and buy a pack of like 100 of them for like $23, $24. A beef. Yeah. I don't I don't get the hop. I don't get the hop. I don't either. Um, it's because this is what every hometown has. This is definitely a local hangout. It Yes. The guy that came in as we were getting up to leave came in and sat down and said, this is the best burger you've ever had. I'll bet my life on it. And I was like... He gonna die soon. <laughs> Man, it's just oh my, no! <laughs> uh, I kid you not. We just did a cookout review. Cookout was a thousand times more flavorful. It was. Yeah, it, it's a lot better burger and uh, more affordable. It's actually cheaper at cookout than it is here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Because you can get the tray with a lot more food on it. Comes with a drink and everything else. For seven ninety nine. Uh, the double cheeseburger, double bacon cheeseburger here is six eighty nine. Oh, six okay. You get a tray. At cookout for seven ninety nine with, and the fries everything. were two dollars, dollar ninety nine. Yeah, that fries to, so I mean I was basically sitting at eight bucks for, before my drink. Yeah, which we just went over to the, I sent you know send the, gas station, so we just went over and got a, uh, drink from the convenience store side of it. Yeah, out of the refrigerator. And the way it works is you come in, you order your food, and then you you don't pay or anything when you order. You come in, you order, and then you help yourself to whatever's in the convenience store. And then whenever you get finished eating, you take your your check that they wrote on, and whatever you bought, or whatever you got from the convenience store up to the cash register, and pay for everything all at once when you're finished. So don't throw anything away. Yeah that you've got from the convenience store take it up and pay for it yeah it's just it's just not for me not not for with the hot that was built around it and uh like i said it's a normal chili dog stand restaurant so mm -hmm. this happens to be in the gas station uh there's no draw here yeah. unless you're just looking to save money <coughs> i do have what i would we'll love to try we'll come back and try is they have a two foot sub Oh yeah. For I think it's seven forty nine now, right? Because when I seven forty nine, seven ninety nine, something, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. And, and they got a thing on the front window of the gas station, of the convenience store, that says feed ten people, uh, or feed four people for ten dollars. And that they show pictures of drinks and little bag of chips. I guess I mean for ten bucks, you can't beat that. 
Yeah. I don't know what it tastes like. You can't pick what you want. Any kind of sandwich. They got the one sandwich and that's it. Yeah, Which, it comes with like four different kinds of meat or something like that on it. Yeah. And cheeses and everything. So I guess they just make it and you just get it. Yeah, I mean. They yeah, probably ask if you. If it doesn't like, come pretty much. I mean, I would assume they ask you what like sauces and stuff you want. I would it. assume. I mean, they probably just give you that packs on the side though. Oh yeah, they may. Yeah. I don't know. I, so, didn't I would try that. I would try the, the sub just to know what it is. Mm. But Cheap enough. Can't, can't do Turn that down. Turn it down. I'm not coming back for the burgers or the hot dogs. Yeah, and, and again, it wasn't bad. It just wasn't what it wasn't as good as what everybody made it out to be. It's not the best hot dog in the county. It is not the top 20 hot dogs in the county. Burgers, not the top 20. None of this it, was top it, anything. It wasn't what the hype um, was. Yeah. I mean, their, their service is okay. They're not really nice, but they're not mean. They're not rude or anything. Yeah. You know, they're basically, um, they're just a matter of fact type of uh, workers that work here. <clears throat> I do wish they wear gloves more. I don't see anybody wear gloves at all. So, yeah, I would like to see some gloves being worn. But I'm not a big stickler on that kind of stuff. You know, because when you see them working, you don't know what to do with like One lady just walked out. We're right outside finishing it up. Mm -hmm. She just walked out to smoke and we're on back to the building. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm assuming she'll wash her hands when she goes back in, but we don't know that. That's why we use those food service gloves. So I'd, I'd like to see those a little bit. But I had to disagree with all you guys. Sorry. It's not it. Just not it. Not for me. Not great. Like I said, not even top 20. Anything you want to add? Yeah. No. Y'all can come try it, but... Come try it for yourself. It man. wasn't... I mean, you're not going to get sick or anything coming here. It's not, like, inedible or anything like that. It's just not... Not what all y'all made it out to be. For sure, for sure. Appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't unsubscribed yet go ahead and give us a thumbs up leave a comment if you have subscribed go ahead and give us a subscription or go ahead and subscribe to us while you're here all stuff's free for you helps us out tremendously uh don't hate us that's why you watch our channels for honest reviews and that's what we're giving you about this place and we do on every single place that we go appreciate you guys watching we'll see you next time bye